Today I was going to talk about how I take cuttings from um, indoor care to outdoor care and then into the garden. So today I thought I'd start at the very beginning. So we've done this a little bit where I've shown you my cutting bed here. So here are the sprouts coming up. They next go into, um, into the root riot plugs here and um, onto, a, onto a seed starting mat and overhead light here. Um, until for about 10 to 12 days, then they start to develop roots. So they used to keep the dome on them to keep them nice and warm and keep this grow mat at about 72 degrees. So next, when you are potting these up, you take the dome off, uh, you pull these guys out of here, um, and hopefully they have a root system that looks some, somewhat like that. Keep the tag with it. I next dip it into the mycorrhizal to get the roots into the mycorrhizal, like that. And then I go into um, potting soil in a four inch. So I just dig a hole and then drop this in. Um, sometimes I take a little bit of this off the top. Uh, if I'm not gonna disturb roots, I'll do that just because I don't need it on there. I don't like how it looks. And then drop this in, kind of drop it in deep. I like to plant to, to right to the base of the first set of leaves right there and then um, push that in, add the tag, of course, and then I do water it in. I do give it a good watering in. So, so next, what I wanna do with these that are just newly planted is I like to keep them in, indoors for two or three days for sure. Um, they have a root system, but it's a newly developed root system, and so it's a little bit fragile. So. Uh, if you put this right outside, um, many of these would, would um, wilt or the leaves would get burned right away. Remember, they've been uh, in the house the whole time. They've been under dome, lots of moisture. They're not used to the regular air. So what I do is I, I put them here with a grow light above and put it on for 14 hours a day. No bottom heat now that the root system has developed. But the other thing you can do is if you don't have this system, you could just put them in, in a window but with no direct sun. So here are some that I'm, I have that are in, in no direct sun. I'm gonna leave them like this for about two days. They're getting a little bit of light, but not too much. So after the cuttings have been um, inside for about two days after they've been potted up into these four inch, I next will bring them outside, and this is the north side of my house. It doesn't get any direct sun, but it is getting some reflected light from the sky, and it's getting used to the, the, um, the air and everything around it. The roots have had a little more time to develop. But I wanted to show you, when I was potting these up um, a few days ago, I, I was doing it outside and sun hit this one that I had just uh, potted up and you can see it just had sun for about an hour and it turned the little tips brown here. We've got brown tips here and here. So th that's what can happen to your um, cuttings if you don't take extra care with them. So these will stay out here in the, in not in direct sun on the north side of my house for the next say three or four days and then they could get put out. So. With cuttings, you need to take a little bit of extra care and a little bit of extra time.